Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Autonauts. Um, last episode I said that I was going to add some robots, get some stuff straightened out and organized, and well, that I have done. I now have a series of robots building parts and a series of robots building tools. There's a couple of upgrades I want to do, but I just wanted to show you real quick a few of the little problems that we ran into with the programming for some of these robots. So we'll just bring up the bot makers and um, this guy was one. <clears throat> this is the memory chip upgrade. Uh, he had to pick up two seeds, drop them off, and pick up two poles and drop them off. So you can't store two items, so what I had to do was... Two ways I could have done this. One, I could have just went and picked up the tree seed, and then stored it, and then picked up the pole, and then stored it, and then repeated the... Uh, re dropped them off and then repeated the process. Or what I did is I just basically picked up two poles, dropped them off, picked up two seeds, and dropped them off. Um, the drives, I believe, is another one. It's basically, it was real simple, just going straight out, pick everything up, bring it over, pick it up, bring it over, bring it out, and set it all down. Not too big of a deal. Um, the bodies, again, it was go pick up something twice, come back over here. Now this is a little way because you only have so much memory. Uh, move to the workbench, empty your hands, retrieve your item, and add to the workbench. You can take off the extra um, move to basic bot workbench. You can take that off because you don't need that extra command in there. So there's a few ways to trim those down. And then if you go to shoes, which I believe was one of the tricky ones here, you had to pick up crude gears. Now the problem with picking up the crude gears is they take up two slots in your hand. So one crude gear takes up two hand slots. So you can only pick up two. Unfortunately, he has to do this uh, four times. I believe the gears take f the, the uh, shoes take four gears. So what I did is I just repeated, basically repeat this twice. Go over, pick up the crew gear twice. And you got to keep the fine, fine crew gear in there because he has to search for one. Then go to the workbench and unload those and then do that whole loop a second time over and then retrieve your item and add that to the workbench as well. He's got to pick up one pole. Some of these, as I said, some of these loops, they get kind of tricky and kind of crafty. So those are things to keep your, your eyes on. Um, I set up all the basic tools, of course. As I said, they were all pretty basic. Uh, the only one I didn't do was the wheel um, I don't have a need for that right yet. What I am going to do is find in farmers here. I want the um, Mr. Berry Friendly here. We're going to stop him real quick. And we're going to, as soon as he stops, there we go. We're going to record this. And we're just going to tell him to drop everything. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove sticks. And we're going to tell him to go and pick up a flail. And then we're going to uh, stop that. We're going to come down here. And we're going to say, come where I am so I can find him. So I have no idea where he is. Transfer this over. We're just going to give him the flail. 
Close this. Hit record again. Move these back into here. See, it says use held item. I don't have to specify what the held item is. Okay? So now, I'm just telling him instead of sticks, to use flails. As I said, every uh, every upgrade, it usually is just a small minor changes in the programming that you have to do to these guys, and it makes it better. Now the flail yields more berries than the stick, and I believe it also yields it at a faster rate. I set up a turf um, turf planting guy. Um, he's really, basically all he's doing is he's just putting turf down in here. These guys are just digging some stuff up here. I want to put in a little bit of a bit of gardening over here. So I need these two zippy guys to get some crap done. I'm going to give them a bit of a hand here because I don't want to wait forever. <clears throat> now, what we want to do today is we want to get the colonists up to level 2. Now, I have 5 colonists. I do want to double that up to 10 at some point, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So the first thing we're going to do is last episode we got the ability to make uh, colonist houses. So we're going to order one, two, three, four, five of those. We're also going to order, as you saw there, I had the crude pots listed. Crude pots. Now I have berries and apples right now are my ingredients. So I'm going to order three crude pots uh, because I do want to get other things. But we'll get those going. Well, that's all ordered. We're going to come down here. We're going to harvest some of these. Um, uh, these weeds. <clears throat> I have two things on the go. I've got construction technology and structural parts and machine parts. Both of those are on the go, but they're not going to cook very fast with level one uh, colonist wealth. So I'm just going to dig up a few more of these weeds. While those are digging, I'm also going to do is, I want to order some more storage boxes. Oh, I've got two, okay. Two should be a good start. But I want a couple more, so we'll just... For some reason, they won't let me stack these anymore, which is really, really annoying. myself and we'll dig up a bit more of these weeds just wear out this shovel here basically is all I'm gonna do there we go let's pick these up and we'll throw those in that storage box Unload your hands all the way, unload. A few more over here, just one more trip should do it. I also picked up and moved all the cattle that were over here and chopped down all the grass that was around these rocks. All this tall grass. I've got a sheep over here still. Um, and I'll probably move him later. But this is a, to remind me that eventually I do want to put in a farmyard back here and get that going. Oh, the Stumpy's ran out of juice again.
Okay, now real quick again here, you'll just see how I mean. As soon as I order the pickup of the part, the guy already started moving to go pick up the stuff. So we'll pick this up, we'll drop this. This. And that. Okay, we'll wind him. And we'll whistle him into place. And he is going to be our weed farmer. Record his job. I'm going to be to come over here, pick up these. And I believe these can just be planted. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to move this area. Drop that down a couple of tips. And what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be a seven by seven area. More than ample for what we need, but we'll say okay. Again, this will be real simple. Just come here, pick this up until your hands are full. Do this until your hands are empty. And forever. Give her heck go. And we'll move him up to farmers. And we'll go grab another robot. See, now they've already got another set of heads or another set of parts ready to go. So we'll just go pick those up. I know some people like to uh, pre-order half a dozen or a dozen robots at a time, get them ready to go. I kind of like just doing them one at a time because um, I'm kind of stubborn that way. Okay, now I got to find where I've got my shovels, speeds. Uh-oh, uh, you're not recording? Okay. I have to do some upgrades on these chargers here too. I'm gonna do that real quick after I get this guy going. guy makes me a shovel. Okay. Grab the shovel. Dig weeds. Okay, and pause this for a second. First, we'll do this. Until hands empty, we'll put this over that. That's why he didn't move. Okay. Move this search area up. seven by seven area. Hit okay. Forever. Then we go with stop. Transfer. Give him this. Exit that. Give him this. Okay, weed farmer guy. We're gonna stop. We're gonna change your program now.
You're going to pick up these. And we're going to add, put those in crate. Now here, we're going to say find weeds. And we're just going to go one block outside of that area that everything's being planted in. Okay. This, this, and this. We're going to move those up here. And we're going to put a... Until hands full loop. Until hands full. Uh, with the escape. Move to weed storage. Uh, add to weed storage. Then we'll take that away. And we'll change this till hands empty. Remove that one. And we will move this entire loop up here. With the, es with the escape. So now what he'll do is he will pick up as much weeds as he can find. When his hands are full, he will try to find empty soil and he'll plant them. If he can't find empty soil, then he'll shove everything into the storage box. That's his life, give her heck. Now he's not overly fast and we'll change that shortly. We'll start playing with some upgrades here, but it won't take him long and he'll have this entire garden uh, planted. Now we can give him a bit of a hand and we'll pick up a few. I just want to double check that this guy here is in the right area. Yes, okay. <clears throat> now we got these guys need to be charged. Now these are done, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to go and open up our build menu, put this stuff in storage. Clear out our area a little bit here. Now we'll just take this, we'll go add that to the weed storage. We're going to want more of those eventually. Go here and we'll put down our five lovely little colonists. Yes, I know, lovely. So we'll start with that. And then we'll go to our food and we'll put down those three bowls. Now the food production. I want to do some of the start some of the basic food production over here and then work it into more advanced food production into the feeding of the idiots there as time goes on here. So we'll start with Three bowls. One, two, and three. Now, actually, we'll do it this way. 
Uh, we move you up into farmers. We click on our cooks. Now I already have two people who I have listed as quote unquote cooks. Their job is to basically take this berry and feed it to a column. So we're going to change that. Feed berries. We're going to stop this. Is we'll change this first recipe here to spiced berries. Where did you go? Feed berries. There we go. <clears throat> I'll hit record. Now he's already got the go to berry storage, pick up until hands full. So we're going to change that because it's called that could stay on because he still needs four berries, but now he needs one loose weed. So we're gonna take this entire loop and we'll delete that. And we'll say, go to crew mixing pot. I need, pause this for a second. I need a berry. There we go. Four, okay. Record, remove that. And go to crew mixing pot, add to that. Pause this for a second. We'll just unload our inventory. Record. Until hands empty. And just grab those two, we'll shove them in there. And then go here. And go here. All of that can go in here. That's only one. It's only one loose weed, so he only has to do it once. We'll add. Whoops. We'll add one more loop here, and we'll say this is full until mixing pot is full, and then we'll do that forever. Now that's all of his memory, but it's not very difficult, and he's not walking very far, so I don't have to really change anything else. So we'll hit go, and we'll find our other robot listed in cooks. That's our apples guy, and we'll stop him. say come to me actually come to me here and drop everything you don't need to be carrying that stuff now all right now we're already picking up apples so again we can just uh, record and we'll just get rid of that loop get rid of the forever loop This will pick up these apples that he was carrying. We only want to do this once. And we'll go grab an apple. Because he's already got until hands full. So let me hit record. Go to crude mixing pot. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Uh, pause. We got to tell this one to make. Spiced apples, there we go. You. Record. There we go, add that. Pause this, we'll empty out our hands real quick here. And do this until hands empty. Again, go grab one of these. Poop. Hold on a second. Pause this. 
Remove all that again, we'll try that again. Take those. Go to mixing pot. Add that. There we go. Do this until... This pot is full forever. Until hands are full, until hands are empty. Take one, take one, and go. So now I have one bot making spiced berries, one bot making spiced apples, and we have all of our lovely little happy colonists that we are now going to shove into their brand new shiny homes. Yay. Or at least don't tell me I gotta do this every time. Boing. Yay. Cool. Don't care. That one. Pick him up, put him in, pick him up, put him in, pick him up, put him in, pick him up, put him in. Oops. As I said, they all grow. They get bigger. <laughs> okay, so. Now we need to get ourselves two more robots. And we're just gonna grab this guy and we're gonna call him Feed. Very speed spiced. Okay, record. Now his job is gonna be real basic. Come over here, grab some spiced berries. Feed him to a colonist. Forever. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add until hands full with the escape clause. Go to spice berries, find the nearest berries and pick them up. And we're going to add until hands empty. Those three like that. And we're just going to check our zone, make sure that zone is covering those colonists. We'll be happy there. And away it goes. Now I'm going to do the same thing with another one for spiced apples but we're just about out of time here so real quick i'm going to show you what i was talking about so we'll move him into cooks minimize this we'll open up the power team i'm just gonna uh, just grab me one of these guys i'm gonna stop him I'm gonna come over here i'm gonna call him to come to me Now, up to this point, we, we haven't had the ability to add more uh, robots. I'm probably gonna keep my eyes open. I should have some discharged robots out here somewhere. I think Stumpy's done, yeah. <clears throat> so if I go and I grab a head, now his memory currently is three kilobytes. Now, control right click, I believe, swaps his head. He now has seven kilobytes free. So he just gained a four kilobyte upgrade by just doing this. But you'll also find that the max area is also increased. So I can now increase the areas in which he is able to scan. That's just by putting the, the head upgrade on him. So without having to change anything else that he has, just put the head on him and boom, I gained that. But at seven kilobytes now, I can also do 
is I can say, go to the nearest discharged robot. Charge that poor little bugger. We'll put a repeat loop around there. And we'll say forever. We'll put the escape clause on there. Escape clause on there, escape clause on there. Those should be on there already. I don't know why they're missing. So we can do that. Change that zone, of course. Now we go max area. And I want to move it down here where I've got these guys making food and farming and stuff. So we're just going to overlap a little bit here. Like that. I'm going to put another one in over here. Um, okay. Now I've back to the three kilobytes. Now I don't know how I was doing it before, but there was a way that I had it so there was one more area that he would check. You can still program that, but it will just seem to lock unless there's actually a robot there that needs to be charged. So it's good if you have an area with a high density of robots that need to be charged. It doesn't work so good if it doesn't. But there we go. That's how they upgrade the charge bots. Again, now he's just basically added a new area and increased his space. Now the other thing I can do to him, if I really wanted to, is I can grab the uh, shoes, the memory, and the sensor, and throw all three of those upgrades into him as well. And that will increase, I think that will give me one more zone and it will make him move a little bit faster. And if you really want to put the, um, put the robot's battery into him. Yeah, you can only do two upgrades. I think on the level one guy, you can only do two upgrades anyway. So you can just give him the, the sensors or the locomotion with the memories, but I usually do is I just put the locomotion on them. And I might do is grab a level one uh, drive because these move a little bit faster as well. And that's how to upgrade those bots. Their parts are interchangeable. Now somewhere around here, I've got a basic head. Now the thing with these basic heads is I could take one of these robots that is doing something really simple, a real simple tool crafting like the flail for example, which is two sticks. I could throw that basic head on there and recover his head and use that head for somebody else. Um, cut back on materials and reuse some of these parts because there's no need to have like really complicated robots doing really simple tasks, you know? So there we have it. Uh, that's upgrading the robots and upgrading the WUV. Now, you'll notice that now my colonists are producing this level two uh, WUV, by the way. So you will have to do is go to these guys and stop them out. And you have to change that from the, uh, this, to this. Oops. Uh, try this again. That. Because <clears throat> this is the level 10. So basically, you just take this, you shove it in there. There shouldn't be any level 1 being produced, so you can just delete the three level 1s. Um, if you have two tiers of bot or two tiers of humans producing uh, you can still do is combine both of them like that without having to upgrade these guys uh, so that that helps too so we hit okay we're just gonna drop this back on the ground I'll do that with the other guy so there we have it kids thanks all for watching and hope to see you on the next episode good night for now <laughs>